done before, but I've wanted to for quite a while. This is checking out the abandoned Iron Mountain Ski Resort off Highway 88 in the El Dorado National Forest near Lake Tahoe. I always knew that it was like right off the highway just from the research I did, but I did not know that it was this easy to get to. There's a old parking lot right there, the lifts, some of the lodging, a lot of that stuff is all still here. Oh yeah, look at that. So guys, this is a pretty unscripted video. I'm just checking everything out. See a burned down remains of what was probably the lodge. A building that slid off its foundation right there. No idea what that was. But yeah, right here, Iron Mountain Ski Resort. Let's go and check this out. So guys, the first lift we're gonna look at here at Iron Mountain is, this was a riblet. That's kind of funny, there's a Kirkwood sticker on the bull wheel, but as you can see, it does not have a rope on it anymore, but you can still clearly see where the lift line went. If you look really closely, like, yeah, right there, some of these still have the ship wheels and everything on them. I don't know how well you can see that, and that's a 12 tower lift, apparently. I'm, I don't know if I'll go up into the motor room or not. I don't think I will because I don't think there's a safe way to get up there other than clambering up that, and I really don't want to do that. But you know, there's a guided spot right there, but it appears as though this does not have your standard vertical drive shaft riblet drive. My guess is it's a yawn repower. Uh, maybe I'll find a way to get up there. Uh, stay tuned, guys. I will uh, fill you in with what I find. Yeah, guys, there's no safe way to get up there. I'm not going to try to get up to that motor room. Um, but you can see the teeth for what was the e-brake. Yep, that's actually, I can tell you right now, looking at that, right there, that is a yawn. This is a yawn repowered riblet. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, there's a bunch of broken glass everywhere. The next stop is going to be those two SLIs over there, Ski Lift International, one of which still has the rope on it. So we are going to go check those out. And meanwhile, I'm going to load up my backpack with some water and some lunch bits. We're going to hike around this mountain and see what we find. I'm going to check out the lifts, probably what some of the terrain was like, and just check out an abandoned ski area. This is an extremely unscripted video, so I apologize for the disarray of the order I do things here. Okay, guys, second lift we're looking at here. Now that I have my backpack loaded up with water and some lunch bits, good amount of sunscreen because it is a sunny one overhead today. This was known as the Little Rabbit Lift. This was the beginner lift. Like I said, this is manufactured by Ski Lift International or SLI. I actually have worked on a good many of these lifts particularly at my maintenance job at 49 degrees north up in northeastern Washington. There's three of these there that are still in operation. But this one appears to be the most intact. Yeah, it's derailed off that side, but it's at least still got the rope attached. And this one actually does have a safe way up into the motor room, which I'm going to stay on the metal. We'll go up there and take a look. I will actually I'll bring you guys with me for that one. Okay, here, let's up we go. Sorry for the crappy camera work on the way up here. Trying to not drop my phone. Ugh. Still in really good shape, but if you look up in here, you can see itty bitty gearbox. 
and the electric motor is completely gone. The e-brake is still here. Still has weight on it. And as you can see right there, that would be that. It is fully engaged. I'm not gonna go over and check any of that stuff out over there because I don't want to fall through the freaking floor. I'm standing on a piece of plywood right now and I don't really like it, but my guess is in order to lift this e-brake, it was probably a hand crank system. You can see the electrical sensors right there that would tell the mind of the lift that the e-brake was lifted or when it went down. Yeah, and that disc Right there's the service brake. I can actually still see the link belt brake on that. That's kind of cool. There's a little bird over there in the window. Hey, hey little guy. Uh, if this motor room was in better shape, I'd go over and look down the lift line from up here. Eh, maybe I'll do that. Like I guess, I guess this video is really unscripted. Um, I'm gonna I'll resume when I get over to that window. I want to see what I can find here. Well, uh, stay tuned. So guys, I'm in between that one freaking tall tower right there and the next down derailed tower. And I can tell you that this lift's been derailed for a long time because the rope is literally sunk into the ground. It's got stuff growing over it. It's literally it's just sunk right into the ground. And what I did find out, though, is that Right down here, well, that's kind of cool. This is rope pieces that are evidence of a resplice back when the mountain was still open. I don't know how well you can see that down there on that next tower, but right there, the rope actually goes back up on top of that tower. So it's only derailed off of two towers so far. And this tower right here is completely derailed even though it looks like it's still on there. This is the ski lift mechanic in me talking. You can see that it is off to the side and resting on the cable catches. That's uh, kind of cool. Even after all this time, they, they still, the safety features still function the way they're supposed to. And down here at the bottom of this tower, I'm not sure what this is about, but you can see some good grips here still. Oh, whoa, those are loose. Normally, I'd be all over trying to nab one of these, but one, I'm not a freaking thief. And two, it's pretty obvious that with this rigging right here, I don't want to mess anything up because for all I know, this could be a work in progress and I just don't know about it. I don't want to mess it up. So in other words, guys, we're going to continue down the little rabbit line. That was just so you're aware, that is a prescribed burn over there. That's on forest fire. So anyway, guys, oh, look at this. That's actually kind of cool. This is an electrical access bag cover from Tawa. Well, guys, looks like I'm going to have to backtrack a bit because I don't want to walk through this undercarriage. Um, I'm going to pick back up when I get further down the line. Well guys, we're here at the bottom of Little Rabbit, and I'm here to tell you I have never seen a load system like this other than at Mammoth Lakes, California, and that was on a yawn. So, it's really cool. It's a winch system. I'm trying to block that sun out there. No, oh, whatever. Oh, there we go. It's a winch system. You can see the chain. Sorry, my hand's gonna be popping in and out. You can see the chain up there that they'd use to pull this assembly down and then raise it back up again with through this depression style assembly right here. That's so cool. This, uh, this video is mostly for people like me who are wondering what kind of condition the lifts are in, but the learning area so far anyway, I'll actually step away from the lifts for a bit. 
the learning area actually isn't all that bad. Like this would be a good spot to learn how to ski. Not too steep a terrain. There's a little bit of a loop down right there if you want, if beginners wanted to try something steeper. Back to the lifts. This over here was the tensioning system. Let's go down here. I'm not worried about the tensioning system because the lift is completely detensioned. How do I know the lift is completely detensioned? Because that's the counterweight sitting on the ground right there. And up there we have the snapped uh, counterweight rope, which come to think about it, I'm actually pretty sure that is what derailed the lift. I'm pretty sure of it anyway. I could be wrong, but I'm just about certain a force like that, just sending that entire carriage forward, that would derail the lift. You can see the assembly up there. The chairs would come down off that tower, go into there, loop around, and then go down, and you would load. It's pretty cool. So guys, this is a better look at the beginner area. Sorry for the wind noise. You can just barely see the lift over there. But this is the beginner area. Not very steep at all, and actually a pretty, pretty adequate little spot to learn how to ski. And actually it would have been interesting to see this place looked like an operation. So down back over here, there is another lift. I can't remember the name of it. It's another riblet, like the first one we looked at. So we're gonna go check it out.